Mr. Cunningham, tell me about uh, the first the first time you thought to uh, pour pickle juice into a shot glass. Well, uh, I was working at the Bushwick Country Club, and uh, it's kind of funny. I was having I was kind of kind of not feeling so kind of a little out of the weather that night, and uh, I was behind the bar, and we had been storing McClure's pickles in the basement because uh, they were neighbors of ours and. We needed some extra room, and we had it, so we let them have the pickles, you know, stored in there. And so anyway, I was just, you know, enjoying one of their delicious, spicy pickles. And uh, as I'm doing it, this, this almost out of nowhere, this, like, trashy, trashy Florida redneck chick came up to me. She, if I remember correctly, she had a gold tooth. And she was like, she was like, I want a shot of whiskey. Give me some of that pickle juice with it. And I was like, oh, gross. That sounds terrible. She's like, no, you're doing one with me. And I was like, no, I'm not drinking tonight, ma'am. I'm sorry. It's like not. She's like, yeah, you are. Just a raspy, filthy, redneck voice. And so I, I relented, um, probably because I'm an alcoholic. Uh, so I, I poured, poured us two shots of Old Crow whiskey, two shots of McClure's pickle brine, did the whiskey shot, did the pickle shot, and then the rest, the rest is history, I guess. I, I probably drank about 10 to 15 more of those that night. It cured, cured whatever sickness I had. Uh, show, show the owner of the bar, John Roberts, the pickleback. And, you know, we, uh, we drank a few together and, uh, you know, showed it to some other customers. And next thing you know, we were charging a dollar extra for the pickle juice. And we named it the pickleback. And it kind of became the bread and butter of the Bushwick Country Club. You know, industry people would come by and we you know, got introduced to them. You know, a lot of these guys had their own bars, and they would open, you know, their bar up, and they'd start selling it. But a lot of them wouldn't were using the right pickle brine. They weren't using the McClure's pickle brine. They were just trying to get away with using Vlasic or whatever, and, you know, other pickle brands. But a true pickleback needs McClure's handmade pickles and some Old Crow, Old Crow whiskey, and me. And John <laughs> I don't claim to be the first person that's ever drank pickle juice with whiskey, but I definitely invented selling it in New York. That's, that's all. I'm, I'm not ashamed to say that, and I think that's a correct statement. That is fact. And is the pickleback term, is that, is that your invention? Uh, it's, yeah, it's a combination of uh, mine and maybe possibly a few other drunk employees. It was originally called the pickle puffer. <laughs> and Which, but they, we, we, we didn't really want to offend too many people with that. You and, know? And, the, and the word pickleback came from, at least came from Bushwick Country Club. Yeah. Sure. All right, thank you. I really appreciate your time. Mr. Oh, man, I've got to get out of here. I'm in a hurry. That's it, I'm gone. You can hide your pickle back.